day three and we're gonna be walking 14 km today. My bad, it's actually 19. It'll be about six hours plus or minus. It's probably the most physically relaxing day of the hike as we leave our huge ass packs in a shed near Munro Cabin. This meant that we'd only have to carry our large packs for slightly over an hour at the end of the day as we head off to Ratakuna Cabin for our final night's accommodation. One of our host rangers warned us about the narrow and treacherous path we would have to take to get to the blade. So you can imagine my nerves at the thought of it. But when we arrived at the blade, it really wasn't all that bad. It is a short climb up and the steps are narrow, but you're surrounded by huge boulders for support. It was also great that the wind wasn't insane when we were there. The highlight of the day was definitely meeting Enoch the Echidna. The way he goes about his day, without a care for us humans, is both refreshing and rewarding for our photo galleries. He was all too absorbed in his hunt for food, which I can so relate to. On our return, we bumped into one of Enoch's friends. Then, it was time to pick up our 15kg loads and head off to Retacuna Cabin. Tomorrow is definitely the biggest day on the Three Capes track. Um, but don't be too worried, it's only slightly harder than what you've already done. And so it was again time to call it a day. Prep that mind and rest those legs for the final sprint of the three capes. If you're still with me at this point, I'll see you tomorrow.